Hey, what's up guys? This is Willie D. Today I am going to be unboxing a huge shipment with just about everything that J Life International offers. So what brings me to this point? Well, first I want to transition into more of a minimal lifestyle and I've always been attracted to the idea of simplifying my life and my possessions. Um, so I need a bed and I was looking, you know, a traditional American, you know, bed frame, spring mattress or foam mattress or what have you. And uh, I started to get kind of interested in this whole uh, Shiki Bhutan traditional Japanese mattress, which is a very thin, I got the three inch version of a cotton futon mattress and you put it on the floor. And the cool thing about it is during the day, you can store it away by folding it up and it opens up the area for other activities or, you know, and also uh, kind of simplifies the whole process. I looked on the internet for several different companies. I wanted something authentic and J Life was one of them. There was another one called Futon Beds from Japan, which is another excellent one. Check them both out. So I picked J Life. They had a, a very good variety of different things. They have the pillow and the, uh, the duvet, the mattress, the tatami mats and everything. So um, we're gonna take a look at all this stuff pretty up close. I have seen a lot of videos on YouTube but nothing really specifically on this company that really goes in depth and shows up close and in a very detailed way all of these different components. So I figured it could be useful information for somebody out there that might be trying to narrow down their search as well. All right, guys, so here is box one. Um, we're gonna go through this together. So I, uh, I did cut the box open just to take a look inside. I peeked in there. I didn't pull anything out though. So this is a this is a first impression. We're going to check this stuff out. In this box is everything except for the mattress itself, which is going to be here a little bit later today. <clears throat> so on the top, I have uh, just a simple packing slip. Looks like it has all the items on there. All this stuff is wrapped up pretty nice. Oh, cool. So this is a, this is a pillow and this is a, um, it's a buckwheat hull pillow. So, oh, that is so awesome. I'm, <clears throat> I'm already really impressed. So there are buckwheat hulls in here and I thought that there was a way to, oh, that's awesome. It's nice and full too. I think they said there's a way you can actually remove some of these hulls, but it has a little slip cover over it. And unlike a normal pillowcase, this is open at both ends and you can actually wash that. Yeah, here we go. There's a little zipper here. <laughs> and there's the buckwheat hulls. So obviously you don't wanna wash the hulls itself. That is really cool. And I really like this, uh, this cotton fabric. It's really uh, thick and high quality. The sewing's good. Ooh, it smells amazing. Mm. And you have a choice when you get these pillows to actually get it scented or not scented. They can put lavender in these pillows if you want. So I didn't get any lavender. Hang on, <laughs> having trouble here. I'll do that later. I am super impressed. That is gonna be amazing. And you can, you can hear that sound. It's not, it's not loud or annoying. I was worried about how, you know, if you toss and turn at night, like how annoying that would be. Um, pretty quiet. I don't think it'll bug me at all. Now this is, this is like a, another one. It's called a neck roll. 
So I think what I'm gonna do is when I'm like laying in bed and reading a book or something like that, I'm gonna use this neck roll and it has the same kind of thing. Now I did get this one scented with lavender, so. Hmm. I don't smell it. It smells amazing, but it smells kind of like this pillow. So anyways, that is awesome. All right, so this is a custom cover that I'm gonna be putting on the mattress itself. And super, super impressed with the fabric. I didn't know what to expect because you know, you're just looking at pictures online, but it is, uh, here, listen to this. It's heavy. It's nice and thick. Um, the zipper's great. All the seams are really clean. That's what, I don't know what this inscription says. I just think it looks cool. So what I did is, you know, you can really customize your color and the style that you want. So I did black for the mattress cover. So this will be like what I lay on that kind of a texture. And then for the duvet cover, the khaki bouton, I did red and it has a white board. So speaking of, yeah, same kind of same kind of fabric. Wow. And this this white end, it, this is the blanket cover, the duvet cover. Oh yeah. So this this bottom part has a really, really soft kind of almost silky feel compared to this. This has a little bit more texture to it. And again, I mean, it's, these are, these are solid straight up. This is a gift. Now that definitely smells like lavender. All right. So here, oh yeah, that's nice. So I got the single because the mattress I went with, they do all kinds of different sizes. They do something called a cot, which is really appealing to me. It's just super skinny just for one person to lay on, kind of like my setup that I've been on. But um, I went with a full. So it gives me a little bit of space to roll around and, you know. So let's see, where's our zipper here? There we go. So this here was not cheap and I would go to their, their website. You can view their current prices, <clears throat> but the filling on this is mulberry silk. So it's like, I mean, it's a little bit luxurious for me. I've never really slept with a mulberry silk blanket before, but, um, oh wow. Yeah. I was hoping that it would have some, I like a heavier blanket and this is definitely, wow, this is just incredible. I wish, uh, and it has this cool little texture on it. So anyway, this, this goes into this cover. I'll do that in a minute and we'll take a look at it. But yeah, I am super impressed. I can tell this blanket is gonna be insanely warm and wow, it is just, it might be the nicest it's like fit for a king or queen. <laughs> That's the best way I could describe it. And I am certainly not a king or queen, but wow, this will be amazing. So I'll tell you what, that's all here. So here's all my bedding supplies. All I need to do is get the mattress, which is coming later today. And I'm gonna set everything up and we can take a look and then I'm gonna fall asleep on a live YouTube video. Just kidding. But, um, Anyway, let me get this comforter or the duvet into the, uh, the cover here and we'll continue.
All right, guys, it's finally here. So this is the mattress. This is box number two, and this is a full size, and we're gonna pull it out and check it out. I've already cut around the tape here very carefully, just so I don't cut through the box. Let's pop it off. It's definitely dense. There it goes. All right guys, there it is. So it's pretty straightforward. Oh yeah. Super soft cotton, and uh, you can tell it's the uh, the outside is really strong. Um, I don't think there's going to be any any issues with punctures. It's actually thicker than I thought it would be, and I guess the other side's about the same. Now. I uh, did read online, some people said that they had trouble folding it or whatever. So let's give that a shot. So yeah, that worked uh, very easily. So, Oh yeah. Wow. All right, so this is the, uh, this is the full rig. Now I still have two tatami mats being delivered, which um, are a platform kind of thing. It's like a thick mat that this actual bed goes on. But for now, I'm gonna be sleeping like this. They're sold out of the tatami mats for, um, couple more weeks. So what do you guys think of the uh, colors I went with? I think it looks awesome. It's like exactly what I wanted. And I got to tell you, oh, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, this is awesome. I gotta be honest, the uh, thing I'm most impressed with is this blanket. It is insane. This, uh, this whole feel, I mean, the, the pillow is firm. I like it that way. It keeps my neck elevated. I'm a side sleeper. Um, when, with it full, when you're sleeping on your stomach, it does lift your neck up a little bit. But when you're on your back or either of your sides, it is perfect. When I'm just hanging out here, if I'm reading or, you know, I'm doing my cell phone or whatever, it's perfect. And then for sleeping, it's just, yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. Super, super happy with this. One last thing I want to try. So when the cover's on, I want to see if it's any harder to Yeah, see. Then in the morning just like that. And I can push that up against a wall, get it out of the way. It really won't take up much more space than my old setup back there. It's just a little wider, but as far as depth, I'll still have the same amount of floor space. So, wow. I'll, uh, I'll definitely be giving a review after a couple weeks, months sleeping on this thing, but I can't wait. This is awesome. 
All right, guys, so just got the tatami mats. Now, these were originally back ordered when I placed my order. So I've been sleeping on the Shiki Bhutan for uh, two and a half weeks about, and I'm loving it. So I almost like started second guessing if I really even needed these, but these are going to be cool because they'll give me a nice platform to lay on. They are so heavy, and I knew they were. I mean, you can read the specs. I think. Uh, one of these is like 60 pounds or something. Um, but there's, you need two of them for a European full size. You need two of these. So I ordered two. Let's get them unboxed and take a look here. All right, so this is the bottom of the mat. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like a barrier to prevent moisture from coming through. Wow. A little worried about the corners getting busted up. Looks like this took some impact. I think it'll be okay though. All right, awesome. What's up guys? So uh, this is the spot that I picked out, um, at least temporarily. You know, one of the cool things about this whole setup is it's uh, really versatile, you can move it around. Um, there's no hardware to assemble like a normal bed, so there's a lot of uh, benefits. So I got this spot. Um, first things first, we're gonna lay down these tatami mats. So they're about like 60 pounds each. I have them right off here to the side. I just got them yesterday. They've got that uh, rush grass scent. It's kind of like, um, Honestly, my first impression, having never smelled rush crash before, it kind of reminded me of like a, like a hamster or like if you go into a pet store and you're like in the ferret section, it's like that wood, uh, <laughs> that wood chip. Um, I actually don't mind it at all. Um, I think it smells very natural and, and good to me. So anyways, maybe I like hamsters. So so the first things first on this open spot here, I'm going to put down the tatami mats. So I have them right here. I'm going to go grab them. We'll get them set up. All right, that looks good enough for now. So there's the platform and, you know, these, um, they're really, really firm. In fact, they don't really have much give at all, but they are a nice platform. It's pretty cool when you roll up the bed, you can use this for other things. So. There's the tatami mats. I think um, some people may actually even sleep directly on the mat. It's a very firm sleeping surface, obviously, but it can be done. So the next thing that goes down on here is gonna be the shiki bhutan or the mattress. And it does fold into like, you know, an S shape or a Z shape. Um, and this is the full size, the European full size. It's, uh, it's about 40 pounds, so you can definitely pick it up. It's, it's pretty easy to move around. I mean, you just have to kind of bear hug it like that, but um, let's get this other piece here. So this is the duvet, and it's just the blanket that goes along with this setup. I usually put it like that during the day. And then here's the buckwheat hull pillow. Got a nice spot for it right there. And then the neck pillow. So during the day, this is what it'll look like. Um, if it's a really sunny day, you know, every once in a while I'll leave the, uh, the mattress, you know, out in the sun 
you're supposed to do that. And these both have removable covers. Um, they're made out of a duck fabric, which as I understand is, has nothing to do with the animal duck. It's just a name for a thick type of canvas. And it's a, it's a really nice texture and thick, good quality. And so, you know, this is how it'll look during the day again. And let's say, let's do a quick run through of like how I would set up. So when I'm ready for bed, I'll come in here, usually set this off to the side for a second set this off to the side and then simply pull that down. I mean, it's about it. Throw the pillow there. All right. Yeah, and I've been uh, I've been sleeping on this setup. Like I said, I just got the tatami mats yesterday, so I got my first night on the mats. It was great. Um, really enjoyed it. I don't know if I can really say that I felt a difference. I was sleeping on the hardwood floor for the last three weeks with the the mattress, and uh, you know the the mats are nice to have it is the complete setup it's the way it's supposed to be um as far as like it's like a moisture barrier and also like an aeration barrier i think um you know protecting the investment kind of thing it's a it's the way it was supposed to be done and designed to be done so rank number one my favorite thing is this blanket if you if if somebody was going to get one single piece from that website, JLife, or, uh, you know, just a single piece, I would recommend this duvet. And I would also get the removable washable cover because, number one, the texture, it's just so amazing. I love the white border. You can get it with, with or without. I just think the style of the white border looks cool, and the underside just looks really clean. Um, I have not washed this yet, so I hope that the red doesn't bleed off onto the white. The pillow, I love it. I had to remove two sandwich baggies full of buckwheat hulls in order to get it to the consistency that I like. It was a little bit firm, so I kind of woke up with a stiffer neck. I don't think I was really used to it yet, but now that I took a few out, it's really, really nice and I love it. That's a small pillow. It's perfect and it keeps its height. You know, a normal like uh, pillow that we're used to using, it like gets all smushed down in the center, you know, and your neck kind of goes and then you, you know how a pillow gets, gets all scrunched up. This like keeps its shape always and uh, it's super, super comfortable. The neck roll, when I'm reading, when I'm on my phone, laying down in bed or like if I'm out there, Sometimes I'll bring this out there and watch a movie. Um, it's just awesome. It keeps your neck elevated. So that's the full setup. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So we went through each piece individually. Then I showed you guys the full setup. Um, if you are considering this yourself, I say go for it. I mean, it, is, it has been so amazing for me so far. I know I've only had it for like three weeks to a month, but... I know what I like and this is this is what I like. So um, I am putting a link in the description to the website if you wanna check it out, it's jlifeinternational.com. And uh, I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. My channel is kinda of all over the place. I do you know some music, I do some backpacking, um, I do weird product reviews like this. Um, I know that the product reviews that people are most interested in are more expensive things like this was not cheap and it helps when you're going to be making a purchase like that. I know that I did a ton of product research to try to figure out everything about these before I bought them. So um, I'm super happy with my decision. I have not regretted it for one second. So anyways, I uh, hope you all have a good day and sleep easy. See ya.